Yo, what's going down, everybody? It is Straight Outta Boston here, aka the King of Boston, and today we're back for episode five of my MLB 14, the show, Road to the Show, featuring the starting third baseman for the Houston Astros Double A affiliate, the Corpus Christi Hooks, Saul Goodman. And you can see we get things started with a good at bat training session. We pick up a silver this time, so we get a few extra training points, and we have 811 total to spend. We're going to be using it on mostly secondary stuff here, stuff that I don't want to focus on too much, but it's good to keep these up so that they don't start decreasing after a while. Because if you do neglect them, they will start to decrease. So plate discipline, batting clutch, fielding, stuff like that. I'm not too concerned about all that stuff, but... Anyways, we're going to get a series started against the Midland Rockhounds. We enter the series with an 11-game hit streak, and you can see over our last four games, we are hitting 550. 11 for 20 been red hot lately, so... Here we go, bottom of the ninth. The hit streak is already continued with two singles in the game. But here we're going to reach base down by four runs. Every base runner counts, and that's going to bring the tying run to the plate. So we get to re-reach first base. We're going to take a look at the simulation here. A two-run single, and then a pop-out, a strikeout, and a three-run walk-off home run. The Corpus Christi hooks get it done with a 10-9 to come from behind victory. Great job out of the team tonight. We go two for five. As I said, the hit streak is extended to 12 games with a pair of singles, neither of which really were any of any importance. I think, believe they're both bases empty. So you can see how we were doing over the last 10 games, hitting 500. We have been tearing it up just otherworldly right now. And check out these splits. I thought this was pretty interesting. Hitting 550 against left-handed pitching. Less home runs, but that also stems from less at-bats against left-handed pitching. So... Here we go. That's a base hit up the middle. That's going to drive in a run. He's going to round third, head for home. The throw will be cut off, but he fires at home anyway, and the throw is offline. We get the second. They actually give us a double on this play. So it's an RBI double. The hit streak is up to 12 games, I believe now, or um, 13 games. So here we go. Later in the game, 0-2 count, and this is something you don't see very often. Saul Goodman strikes out. That is just his first strikeout of the season and it came in i believe may now so pretty uh pretty good so far for goodman to only strike out once but there we go later in the game goodman a deep left center field that's a no doubt home run a solo shot and goodman's power surge continues if you remember at the end of last episode he was hitting home run after home run he had four and two games at one point this time he gets a no doubt or a solo shot as i said and that will extend the lead for the Corpus Christi Hooks. And we look to come out of this with a victory, which we do. 8-3 to three will be the final score. Goodman goes 3-4, for four, a home run, 3 RBI, and a double, as well as 2 runs scored himself. And he gets the player of the game. Like I said before, I don't show you guys all the player of the games, but when I do find them, I do like to throw them in there. And they kind of make for some cool little animations. So there we go. Surprised he actually didn't have an at-bat past the 6th inning, but... Either way, we're going to be bumping the difficulty up to Legend, or not Legend, Hall of Fame after this. Um, it was just becoming too easy to hit on All-Star. And I've hit on All-Star for the last, like, three games, or, like, since MLB 12, the show, I've, like, been playing on All-Star, but it's just getting a little too easy. Um, and I like, the, I like it on Legend because the pitchers actually throw you a lot more balls, which is good because um, Goodman has only walked twice, I believe in his first month and a half in double a mainly because the double a pitchers just throw strikes after strikes they always leave it over the middle and it's i don't know it's, it's, not, it's not that fun i mean i mean it, it's it's i would say it's a negative so to say um but either way so we're going to be seeing some more pitches now which is always fun and we're going to get into our next series against the frisco rough riders oh no this is the uh the Northwest Arkansas Travelers, I think, or something like that. I don't know. But we enter with a 15-game hit streak. As you can see, we get the player spotlight on us. And check out his stats on the season. 414 average, a 1241 OPS. That is insane. So we come up in the top of the ninth. Runners on first and third. Down by one. That ball gets away. It's going to get to the, or not quite to the backstop, but the run comes home and scores. And the Corpus Christi Hooks have tied it. So now, go ahead, run on first. Top of the ninth inning. The 1-1 count. And it's time for the Better Call Saul moment of the game. Let's see what Saul can do. A big situation here. 1-1 count. And that one is driven to deep right field. That one is back. And it is gone. A no doubt home run for Saul Goodman. And the Corpus Christi Hooks take the 9-7 lead. Saul Goodman coming through in the clutch. And as always, you better call Saul in those situations. Because he's going to come through. Especially the way he's been tearing up double A lately. Hey, Houston... I think it's time for a call-up. Come on now. I mean, he has just been torching this pitching. A two-run home run, a no-doubt shot, second of the episode, and we pick up the 9-7 to win. Three hits on the afternoon for Goodman. Two RBI. The hitch trick is at 16 games now. A couple of singles and a huge home run in the ninth inning. So... 
we're going to get into the next game against Arkansas here, top of the first. And Goodman takes that one to center field. Beautiful piece of hitting right there. And the center fielder misplays it. That's going to get all the way to the wall. Runner coming around. He's going to score easily. Goodman headed for third. He's going to get in, throw, almost gets away. We're going to stop at third, though. It's an RBI triple. Hit streak is at 17 games now. Goodman just getting it done right now. An RBI triple. Take a look at this beautiful swing. Hidden left-handed pitching better than ever. And check out this misplay by the center fielder. Uh, it's always a risky situation to dive like that, especially in center field when you're not going to have a lot of backup. But here we go. Uh, here's the bases loaded, and we're down by four, actually. It's been a rough game so far. We're going to tag third, throw to first, and that's going to be a 6-3 double play that will get our pitcher out of the jam. So a nice play defensively, which is good to see out of Saul Goodman, who, if you guys remember in the last episode, had a couple defensive woes. So nonetheless, we go two for four that game. And... Also, I've been uh, getting some comments lately about how much I say nonetheless in my videos. I apologize. Uh, I'm really bad at finding synonyms for words like off the top of my head. So I tend to say the same word over and over again. Um, but I'm going to try and uh, cut down on my nonetheless's. Here we go, though. Goodman to right field. That's a base hit. That's going to get a run in. A little bit of a bloop single right there. It wasn't hit very hard, but it's better to be lucky than good a lot of the time in baseball. So that is going to be an RBI single. The hit streak at 18 games, an RBI. Now top of the fourth, 4-3 to three is the score runners on first and second. And that one is taking a deep right center field. That's back. And that one is gone. A three-run homer for Goodman. A line drive shot this time. We've seen Goodman get under the ball a lot and just power it out to the uh, or over the fence. This time he just lines it right out of the park. Great piece of hitting by Goodman. And that's going to give the, or that's going to extend the lead for the Corpus Christi Hooks later in the game. Bottom of the night, 10 to 4 is the score game well in hand. We're going to go to second for one, on to first, in time, and the double play ends the game. So a 10 to 4 victory for the Hooks. They improve to, I believe, now 28 and 20 on the season. Very impressive for the Houston Astros, or the Houston Astros double A affiliate. Obviously, have one of the better farm systems in baseball. Um, but that is not really reflected in the game without the real rosters. So here we go. Goodman, same spot as last game. Can he get it out? Oh, that's going to one-hop over the wall. That'll be a ground rule double. Not hit quite as hard, but still an extra base hit for Goodman, and the hit streak continues. And as you can see on the replay, that one bounces off the warning track and up over the fence for a ground rule double. Same game, 7-1 the score. Now it looks like it's going to be another easy win for the hooks. And Goodman's going to help that cause. That one is smoked into left center field. And add another home run to the total, guys. Saul Goodman goes deep again. Another home run, a two-run shot this time. And that is pretty much going to seal the game for the hooks. Goodman gets player of the game once again, as you can see. And just a phenomenal performance out of Saul Goodman. Once again, a, a, he has been incredible so far. And there we go. Three for four, or three for five, actually. Did have a strikeout in the fourth. But we're going to simulate ahead here a little bit. Play next appearance. And we get some good news. There we go. Called up to AAA. The AAA Red Hawks. Our next game is May 27th. Finally, we get that call. And guys, come back next episode for Saul Goodman's AAA debut. Until then, thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. This was I'm out. Peace.